So working on prepping this bed for sweet potatoes <coughs> right next to the garlic that is doing amazing. Also a 70 foot bed by four feet. Just going and taking these big weeds out. This was covered with black tarp. Um, we had a we have a lot of compost to add here, but that's just the first step. So we're gonna grow purple sweet potatoes here. Okay, so I absolutely hate tealing, but it was kind of necessary here just to loosen up this soil since it's a new bed. I'm reminding you that we're going to put sweet potatoes here, purple sweet potatoes. So we needed to air the soil and go down a little bit. It was just too compact for sweet potatoes. Um, so did that, a little bit of tealing, and then I raked more, uh, most of the soil like from the walkways to the bed and next we're gonna add some compost look at this so beautiful all right done for now we raised this row a little bit so hopefully the sweet potato will have enough room to form so added a lot of compost here irrigation is in place we're not ready to plant yet we gotta put landscape fabric over this row and burn the holes kind of like we did with the garlic there and then will be ready to plant so that's it for now okay so holes are burned they are spaced staggered on 12 inches apart i need to uncover the bed redo the irrigation lines and then staple this in place before planting Okay, so now I just want to catch the the irrigation lines under the fabric in a few places so I know that as we water it's not going to move. See how it is over here? It's got to be over here so i'll just use landscape staple to catch it in place time to plant these guys all I do is use a butter knife and I stick it kind of deep these are sweet potato slips these are purple potatoes purple sweet potatoes uh, there's a lot of information on the blog on how to grow them and we just go ahead and Plant. So 
So that's it you guys, 138 plants, purple sweet potato plants in the ground. I know they look a little flimsy, but we'll give them a couple of weeks and they will start um, taking over this bed. Now we just need to water them and watch them grow. Next thing on the list is harvesting all this garlic. All right, I'll keep you posted.